What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier. Today we're going to be using a team uh, It's called the blunder team. A lot of people know this team as the blunder team It is a team that uh, has been used multiple times by thunder blunder 777 if you don't know him Definitely go and check him out. I'll try to leave a link to his, uh, to his channel in the description very big youtuber uh, as part of uh, one of the uh, the best competitive groups of players in terms of friends on YouTube, so uh, definitely go check out their whole squad. PokeMMD, MV, Chimpact, uh, CTC, CBB, they're all just, like I, they're all acronyms pretty much, uh, but they're all really good, and this is one of the best teams uh, that I have ever played with. It is extremely competitive and has every asset you could need to win a game. We're utilizing Mega Metacham with uh, HP Fire, Latios, Specs, Keldeo, Thunder Wave Plus, Will-O-Wisp, Rotom, which is really cool for slowing down Pokemon. Uh, you have um, Specially Defensive Jirachi and Scarf Landorus, so let's just hop into it. Hopefully we can get a game relatively quickly. I know the ladder tour is on at the moment, so... Wow, my team has a, my opponent's team is really, really cool, uh, actually, with uh, utilizing Frostlass and um, Halucha, Cresselia, a couple of Psychic types on the team, so he's got three Psychic types. So a very common weakness to, uh, to a typing that I don't have, actually, being Ghost or Dark on the team, so. I'm uh, gonna have to lead off with Landorus right here as my opponent leads with his Elf. Uh, I'm just gonna U-turn out, and um, this team has no, uh, no hazard removal, so... Uh, you have to play around hazards a little bit. Luckily, it has a healing wisher, uh, and there's no real weakness to rocks across the entire team. So uh, we do knock Azelf down to its sash, and now I'm actually just going to go into um, into Metacham right here and threaten a fake out. So it's going to go for rocks. Uh, we're going to be able to go for a fake out right here to prevent this thing from exploding on us as my opponent chooses to go out to Frostlass. Very good play. Uh, preventing us from being able to hit him at all. Luckily, we do have Thunder Punch on this set, so if I wanted to, I could go for it right here. However, uh, the <coughs> excuse me, the uh, the Shadow Ball is very likely right here. So what I can do is just go out into Keldeo, preserve my Metacham, keep it from uh, falling prey. As he goes for spikes, so good play. Uh, I am just gonna go for a Scald right here. It will knock this thing down to its potential Sash. I don't really care if Volcanion comes in. Uh, I have the Latios in the back. And uh, not having Defog is going to affect us this game, obviously, because uh, he got up two layers of hazards. does choose to go directly into Volcanion. Uh, I will just go into Latios. L luckily, we have Roost on this set as well, which is very nice. Um, we'll see what he wants to do afterwards. Uh, he's just going to go for a Steam Eruption. That is not Specs, actually. He does get the burn, uh, but we are able to uh, Roost off the damage right here. We'll see what kind of set he's rocking in a, in a second. Unless, of course, he chooses to switch out, which would be a, a very good play. Um, but he chooses to switch uh, to stay in, go for a flash cannon. That is absolutely fine. Uh, flash cannon plus burn plus life orb will be able to take me out. So I kind of just want to drop a Draco on him. Uh, as he does go into Frostlass, so that's awesome. We're going to be able to knock this thing down to its sash as well. So we've got two Pokemon down to their sashes. I can conserve my Latios for later if I want to. Uh, deals well with the slow bro and stuff like that. So um, I want to keep it right here. Um, I can always healing wish it up as well, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't outspeed the majority of his team, uh, being how Lucha, Zelf, it speed ties with the Frost last, but it's just relatively good in general to keep. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is Psy Shock here, as he goes for the uh, the Ice Beam, that's fine. Knock out the Latios, uh, and now we get a free switch into our Landorus, which only takes 12% from rocks. We will be able to get either a knockout here or a good amount of momentum, uh, as I'm actually probably just going to knock off here. Um, no, I think U-Turn is just overall safe. Uh, he doesn't have priority Destiny Bond online or anything like that, so... Uh, his entire team is grounded other than his Levitators and uh, Halucha, so actually only half of his team is grounded, never mind what I just said. Which cho uh, chooses to go into, uh, into uh, Volcanion, so interesting play. Um, Rotom uh, does pretty well here, actually, because this thing is not specs from what it looks like. Um, from the damage that it did to Latios, it shouldn't be specs. I'm just going to go for, and uh, he also revealed uh, uh, Steam Eruption into Flash Cannon, so he's definitely not choiced in any way. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Thunder Wave right here. We actually see that we are extremely faster. Uh, goes for a Steam Eruption, doesn't do too much. He does get another burn, unfortunately. I uh, kind of need Rotom for the Slowbro, uh, potentially for the Halucha as well. So I'm just going to Volt Switch out here, uh, get on out, and probably go into Jirachi right here because we are Spadef. And getting up rocks at this point is actually crucial because it will uh, kill two Pokemon on the switch. He goes for a steam eruption, does a lot, but we are able to get up our rocks right here. And I can iron head flinch this thing down if I choose to. It is quad resisted, but we all know how 
much of a monster Jirachi is when it starts uh, para flinching things, so. Uh, he could switch into his Frost Sauce here, which would be a pretty good play. I don't know if he has Shadow Ball, because he spikes, probably Destiny Bond, spikes Ice Beam, and I think it gets Taunt. Uh, he goes for the Fire Blast, knocks out Arachi, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we are able to knock out three Pokemon in the process, because his Volcanion is pretty much dead at this point, being parried and everything. Um, as long as I don't uh, lock myself into a water move with Keldeo, I'm pretty much good to go. I can actually go into uh, Metacham here and pick up a kill with uh, Thunder Punch, other than on Cresselia, of course. Uh, that might be my play, alternatively Landorus. Uh, Metacham taking a little bit of damage isn't too bad, so I am just going to go into it. Going to Thunder Punch right here, should be able to take out this Volcanion no problem. And um, it's unfortunate that he didn't get full parried right there, but that is only a 25% chance. Uh, it's hard to ask for something like that. Uh, Thunder Punch will be able to knock something out here again, other than the Cresselia, which at this point I'm going to have a pretty hard time dealing with. I have to rely on uh, crits from Lando. Uh, he does go into Azelf, so he's going to sack that off. Good play. Um, having two Pokemon on a Sash is very detrimental to me at this moment. So uh, he's going to go into Cresselia, which is another uh, excellent play. I can't really uh, go into anything other than Rotom right here, I think. Uh, yeah, Rotom's my play. Simply because uh, I want to burn this. He goes for a Reflect too, so that's good. Um, he can't really switch anything on a burn, so I'm just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp right here. He screens, so that's actually a really good thing that he can't set up on us. Um, potentially, I mean, there's always a chance he can set up on us, but uh, I'm assuming how Lucha is going to come in here uh, to high jump kick me, in which case I will just switch directly into Landorus. I am not losing my Rotom over this. Um, if he Swords Dances or Subs, then good on him, but... Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. We are Scarfed, though, so, though, so we will always outspeed him. Uh, he does go for the high jump kick, which is awesome. And at this point, I think I'm just going to go for a knockoff, predicting his switch. He actually chooses to stay in. We are able to eliminate his power herb as he goes for a Swords Dance. Okay. Uh, but he will pretty much never get into range where he can use that. So I think what I do here is sack Keldeo, as he should go for a... Uh... Well, I mean, he has Sky Attack. Does he have Acro? Yeah, he has Acro. Okay, that's fine. Um... Stone Edge from Lando should be able to kill this, and also, does he go into Unburden from losing his item to knock off? He might, actually. So, I have to, uh, have to take that into consideration. Uh, let's see. So, I think I just go Lando here, lower this thing's attack. It shouldn't be able, well, it might be able to knock me out with an acro, actually. Let's go for Stone Edge, see if we're faster. Uh, we shouldn't be, because I think he actually does get the Unburden boost. But, uh, we, we shall see right here. Uh, we won't be able to knock him out through Reflect, but uh, into um, into Metacham after on the Fake Out. Should be able to clean it up. He is faster than us, in fact. And now I pretty much have to play off of uh, a miss, actually. Uh, I think that's my play. I go into Rotom and I play off of a miss. I have no other play right here. Um, alternatively, if he misses, I think my best play is actually to go for Thunder Wave. Uh, but he chooses to go for Acro, which we actually live. And now I have a Thunder Wave Talucha in front of me, uh, as well as a Screens Cresselia, which can't really touch me. A Slowbro. Yeah, this might be uh, winnable still, actually. I'm going to Fake Out right here. He should be slower than our Metacham. He definitely is uh, at uh, with a Paralysis. We're able to get rid of the screen right there, and we will just go straight for Thunder Punch, knocking out this Halucha. And now we got to like play off of Freezes and Paras and things like that, so... We shall see if we are able to get that. Goes into Crest. I think I have to go for a nice punch right here to try to freeze him. Um, if we get the freeze, we actually do potentially win. His Slowbro just can't burn us. That's the only thing. Uh, if his Crest has Moonblast, which I would be surprised on a, a dual screens like uh, Light Clay Crest. We know it's Light Clay because... Of, whoa, that did a lot. Um, we know it's Light Clay because... Okay, well, that's not good. Because of the fact that uh, his screen lasted that long. I'm just going to go for Ice Punch right here as he goes for Reflect. Uh, he will be able to... I need to stall out Trick Room, actually. So let me go for another Ice Punch right here. He goes for Lunar Dance. Okay, that's a good play. He heals up his, uh, his Volcanion, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he wins. Uh, he just has to land one of his inaccurate moves at this point. Um, and I can't knock him out through Reflect either. So I would need to get like either a Para on the, uh, on the Thunder Punch or something like that. Uh, he's definitely slower. Uh, and he does knock us out with the steam eruption, so that's gonna be a good first game. Guy had a pretty, uh, pretty heat team. That was, uh, was kind of cool. And this guy's got an even weirder team, uh, with all shinies on it. Uh, probably a Mega Sceptile, I would think, because uh, normally you don't bring Sceptile other than it being Mega. Uh, he's also got a Swampert. Um, pretty much what I want to do here is lead with Rotom. 
uh, against his Thunderous, which is not bad for us at all. Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out. He can definitely Thunderbolt me. That's perfectly fine. He goes for his own Volt Switch. Uh, that looks like, yeah, that's Life Orb damage. Uh, he's probably going to go into Swampert. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to burn this thing. If he wants to switch out into his Arcanine, that's fine as well. Uh, in fact, okay, I was about to switch it up for, uh, for Hydro Pump. Glad I didn't. He goes for Rocks. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to Hydro at this point. Uh, nothing really wants to switch in. Swampert's going to take a lot. He goes for the rest. Okay, good play. And uh, now I pretty much... He's Chesto. Okay, fine. That's uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to Hydro again, predicting to switch into Arcanine on the, uh, on the next Will-O-Wisp. Because at this point, he does absolutely nothing to me. He actually goes Thunderous, which is great, because we weaken this. And uh, knowing that he's Volt Switch, uh, I think I'm actually going to pull a switch into Lando right here. Risking the HP Ice, which I don't think he would go for. Uh, honestly, he goes for Thunderbolt. Awesome. Okay. Um, he is Life Orb as well, which means we pretty much get a free... I'm going to go for a U-turn right here, actually. Okay, so he's going to go for HP Ice. And what we'll do is go into our Jirachi, which can take the HP Ice, no problem. This thing is down to uh, its last hit of Life Orb as well, which means it will go down on the next turn. And we can get up rocks to weaken his entire team, mostly for the Arcanine and for the Staraptor, of course. Uh, we're able to take that Thunderbolt. He does not get a Para either, which is awesome. Uh, Rachi rarely gets uh, f uh, hacked as much as it hacks his other Pokemon, so that's really good. Uh, now he gets a free switch out into his, uh, oh, his Sceptile, okay, interesting. We are specially defensive, but I'm guessing he's Earthquake. Uh, I'm gonna go directly into Landorus, predicting the Earthquake. Right here, we'll see what he wants to do. As uh, he Mega Evolves and goes for HP Ground, I guess. That must be what it is. And uh, we're gonna go for U-Turn. We are Scarfed, of course. We are faster than the Sceptile because we are Jolly. He chooses to go into Scizor, which is awesome, because that means that my Rotom comes in for free and gets to burn something or para something. Um, more than likely burn. If he switches in his Arcanine, that's perfectly fine. Uh, he does choose to stay in with his Scizor, actually, and go for Defog, so good play. He gets rid of his own rocks in the process while mine are still online. Uh, technically his are too, but uh, we are also faster than this Scizor, so I can just go for the pump right here, as we miss, unfortunately. Uh, and he's going to U-turn, which is going to do absolutely no damage. Rotom uh, has a lot of longevity, even without the uh, the pain split, so that's very nice. Um, on the Giga Drain, I think I have to go back in Arachi, honestly, is my only play. Uh, as he does go for a sub, actually. Okay, so good play on him, on my opponent's part. Um, I'm going to U-turn to break the sub. He can hit me with a Hidden Power Ground. That's perfectly fine. We are able to tank that, no problem. We're going to be able to break his sub here as well and go right back into Orlando and uh, right back into Orlando Bloom and go for a U-turn and uh, he can bring out his Staraptor, Intimidate me, uh, get to see what kind of Staraptor this is. That took that very, very well, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm gonna go into Medicham. We'll see uh, if he has leftovers or anything like that. I'm gonna go for a fake out right here. Uh, he does have a switch into his Arcanine, which is probably defensive with Rocky Helmet from the way he brought it in. We will see uh, as it is, okay. Uh, he's probably gonna Wisp something which I can't really switch anything in on, uh, except maybe Keldeo. Keldeo can probably come in here. He does go for the Wisp. Uh, and at this point, I'm just going to Hydro Pump, I think, uh, because I want his Swampert to hit KO'd. Uh, he does go into his Swampert. We land the first one. That is, uh, a Scald would have probably been a two hit KO, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to fire off another Hydro here. He does not have a switch. If he wants to go into his Sceptile, that is perfectly fine. Uh, this is a lot of damage. Uh, that's a quad resist, by the way, guys. And, um... At this point, what I'm going to do is uh, go into Lando directly. Uh, if he Giga Drains, he Giga Drains. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, he is going to knock us out. That's perfectly fine. Uh, again, I have Rachi. I have uh, Medicham. So Rachi, again, can take a hit from this thing if he wants to stay in to... Uh, actually, hold on a second. Let me think about this for a second. Um, Medicham... I think Medicham's Fake Out is probably the best play. In fact, I could probably uh, make a, uh, a double right here into Keldeo and uh, just Secret Sword, predicting his uh, Sceptile to come in, I think, is my play. Uh, yeah, let's make a double into Keldeo. There we go. Perfect. So we catch the Arcanine. It's first aggressive play of the game, really. We are going to take a little bit of burn damage, but it's okay. And um, I think just Scalding here is, uh, is definitely my play every time. Uh, he goes into Scizor. This is going to be two hit KO'd. I don't care how bulky you are. That did not take that well. He's probably just going to BP here as well, so I can pretty much go into Rotom. Uh, if he roosts, then he roosts. There's nothing I can do. He goes for the BP, and we take 2% from that. We are able to heal up as a result. And now his Scizor is sitting at 3%, so 
Uh, I can actually just let this thing go down to... Do I want this in, though? No, I'm going to Volt Switch uh, as he goes into Swampert, which is fine. Uh, I can Wisp this again, but he's probably going to Rest, which is actually an opportunity for me to go back into Rachi right here. Uh, as he actually throws up rocks. Okay, so good play. Uh, once again, knowing that I can't get rid of them. I'm going to go for my own rocks. If this thing knocks me out, it knocks me out. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. I got my rocks up now, which is important. That means his uh, his Scizor is dead. His Arcanine comes in at 50 uh, or 60. Is it 50 or 60? Uh, I think it's 60. And his Sceptile is uh, coming in very, very low as well. So now what I can do is go into Latios, actually. And uh, I can just throw off a Psy Shock. It should be able to kill pretty much anything that comes out, including the Swampert that is already in. And uh, now I think his uh, his play is into Sceptile again. Yep, there it is. And I expect him to Dragon Move, which means I have to sack something. I need Keldeo for the Arcanine or else I can't beat it. Uh, well, Rotom can do it, right? The problem with Rotom is that it doesn't hit this Sceptile at all. It has Thunder Wave, so uh, it's a very risky play to sack Keldeo here. Uh, Keldeo's Secret Sword can still put in so much work. I'm, uh, I'm debating it right now. I think I have to keep Rotom so that he can't sp uh, spam Brave Bird with Staraptor and just knock out my entire team if he is Scarfed. So I think Keldeo is my sack here as he does choose to go for a Substitute. Okay. Um, and he'll get a little bit of health back. Uh, that was a very risky play because I could have... Uh, anyway. I could have just Psy Shocked and then he would be at very low health, but... He does make the correct play, and um, now I pretty much have to sack off my Metacham as a result as well. So we're going to fake out to break the sub. Obviously, he's not going to flinch as a result. Uh, he's going to go for the Giga Drain, though, which is going to leave us alive. Uh, I assume he's going to drain again, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, yeah, I think we just lose to this. Um, Metacham comes in, fakes out, uh, probably... Let's go into Latios. Let's just go into Latios, and uh, he's going to Dragon Pulse. Okay, that's fine. I actually prefer that, because now I get to go out into Metacham. And I think I have to make a prediction, uh, once again, into the Arcanine. And he does go into the Arcanine. Awesome, as we double. And we go into our Rotom. And uh, now it's pretty much going to be Rotom v. Uh, the World. So, uh, I got a Thunder Wave right here, I think. As he does go out into a Scizor, lets it die. Sceptile comes in, knocks us out with a Giga Drain anyway, so I think that is, uh, uh, that is game, I believe. Um, yeah, I got a Wisp. There's not, I can't hit this thing with anything else. He does go for a sub, okay. Uh, that's fine, I'm just gonna Hydro here, and this is gonna be pretty much, uh, the game. Uh, oh, not again, you resist. I resist what? I don't resist anything, bro. Uh, just going to fake out here, break the sub, and that's gonna be, uh, the end of the second game, so... Team's not working out the way I want it to, uh, exactly, but uh, we are going up against a couple of fire squads right now, late late at night, uh, on a Sunday evening, this should be going up on Monday. Uh, okay, we <laughs> got a Pandagoro now, um, but Metacham actually puts in a lot of work against my opponent's team, so we can definitely win this one. I'm going to lead off with, uh, with Keldeo right here, actually, because it matches up well against the, um, the Charizard, against the Pangoro, uh, the... Uh, Excadrill and the Ferrothorn. Pretty much the only two leads I can't handle are the Azumarill and the Thunderous, but I have switch-ins to those, so that's alright. Well, my Azumarill switch-in is not really existent, but especially if it's banded. I guess I have um, Rotom, and for the Thunderous, I have Jirachi, so should be okay. Let's see, he does lead with Charizard, awesome, and uh, I really want to make a turn one prediction and just go for the Secret Sword. Uh, it's really risky, but... He doesn't seem like Charizard Y because I don't think Pangoro gets Pursuit. So I'm just going to Secret Sword here. He is Charizard X. Awesome. We are able to hit this thing extremely hard as he goes for the Dragon Dance. Uh, and he pretty much has to Dragon Claw us here. So what I'll do is I'll go into, um, into Landorus, I think. Now let's go into Jirachi first. Uh, as he does go for the Dragon Claw. That is going to do 35%. That is a resisted hit. And now he has to go for the Flare Blitz. So what we'll do is... Um, I think we go into Lando and let himself let him take himself out to recoil. Uh, do we need Lando for anything? Absolutely not. I can just go straight into Lando. Excadrill is a little more of a threat, but it's not a big deal. He goes for Flare Blitz. That's able to almost knock us out. Brings us down to 11%. And I am letting this thing go down so I can get off a fake out with my, uh, with my Metacham and knock this thing out as it is our only source of priority. 
and uh, let's do that. He might switch out into his Ferrothorn here. That would be absolutely fine. He gives me a free high jump kick afterwards, as long as he's not Protect, of course. Uh, he could actually knock us out completely if he's Protect uh, Rocky Helmet. But um, it's a chance I'm willing to take to keep this Zard from winning right here. And uh, pretty much nothing switches into this fake out outside of Ferrothorn. So he actually chooses to go into Excadrill. So I'm expecting a Scarf Drill uh, right here, which I don't really have a switch into, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I wonder if EQ actually takes me out. Probably does, but... Um, let's just go for the HJK. It does go for EQ. It fails to knock us out, and we are able to knock out the drill with a high jump kick right there, so very nice. Uh, I'm assuming Thunderous is coming in, because uh, it is the fastest thing on his team. Azumarill could come in as well, uh, thinking that it can belly jump. If Azumarill comes in, I think I have to Thunder Punch uh, to keep it from killing me. Uh, just outright, but um, Thunderous does come in. I don't expect an HP ice from him, um, because, like, that's just a bad play. Uh, I'm just gonna go into, um, I think Rachi. No, Latios. Let's go Latios. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Latios on the Thunderbolt. Uh, he is Life Orb, in fact. Um, we can live the next hit. He should know that. So I'm actually gonna Roost. Uh, HP ice knocks us down 52%. He takes another Life Orb hit. Uh, we're gonna Roost off the damage, and we can continue to Roost. And his Azu isn't a big threat. He goes for a Thunder Wave. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I get fully Parrot on that turn. So what I'm actually going to do is go Rachi right here on the next HP Ice. Uh, he's probably going to play off of Paras. So we are going to be able to take this hit no problem. We are also Leftovers. So that means I get up my Stealth Rocks right here. He goes for a Thunder Wave. That's perfectly fine. Uh, it's okay that he full Parrot us as well as long as he doesn't get it on the next turn. So he says sorry. It's not his fault. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, he does not get the full para, awesome, and we are able to conserve our Jirachi. And now what I need to do is make sure this thing gets worn down. So I'm actually going to hit it with an Iron Head. Uh, he goes for the Thunderbolt, that's going to knock him down uh, pretty low. He gets the full para on that turn, that's okay. I have to think about what I need more, uh, Rachi or Latios. Rachi can Healing Wish up my Metacham, with, which pretty much wins me the game in conjunction with Rotom. So I'm actually going to sack my Latios right here, give this thing an extra hit of, uh, of Life Orb. Uh, as it HP ices me on the next turn. And then I go into Metacham for the guaranteed knockout with the fake out. Uh, we're going to Roost right here. He goes for the Thunderbolt, actually. Uh, which, if we don't get full Parrot on this turn, uh, we'll be able to live his next hit. So, he should HP ice on this turn. I'm going to Roost again. We were just sacking this. He actually gets the high roll right there. That's fine, though. Uh, I'm going to go into Metacham at this point And just fake out. If he is Rocky Helmet, um, Ferrothorn, then we get knocked out. And we saved our Rachi for pretty much nothing. But... Uh, Keldeo puts in the work as well, which is nice. He does just sack off his Thunderous, which was a huge threat to the rest of the team, so very nice right there. Uh, also, his Rapid Spinner is gone, which means um, that we will be able to uh, knock out the Charizard on Switch in as well. I'm just going to Thunder Punch here to prevent him from Belly Drumming. As we are able to take out the Azu, he does not go for the, um, for the Aqua Jet, which is nice. And I think we win here, just simply with Keldeo. Keldeo just spams Secret Sword and wins at this point. Uh, I don't think a Pangoro can outspeed me. I'm just going to drop a GG because he did as well. Uh, and I will just go for the high jump kick here. If he has protect, he still has to deal with Keldeo, so it's perfectly fine. And um, yeah, we will die to crash damage. Okay, we die regardless, and uh, that's fine. A lot of hacks uh, going his way, but um, I go Keldeo here no matter what. I Secret Sword. If he doesn't die to the Secret Sword and he gets off the Thunder Wave, uh, then I go into Rachi and I go for the Healing Wish immediately. I don't even mess around with this. Like, I cannot risk uh, him full parrying me on the uh, on the Pangoro. He actually sacks off his Charizard right there, so I guess good play uh, because that actually keeps me from being able to, um, to Healing Wish because his Pangoro comes in now. So I'm going to click it anyway because I don't have a choice. Um, we are physically... Okay, he Drain Punches. Is he Life Orb? He does not seem to be Life Orb. Um, I think I go Rotom here and burn this thing to make sure that it doesn't knock me out. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Wisp. As he goes into Ferrothorn, which is fine because Wisp uh, plus Hydro should be able to take this thing out. Uh, the Burn plus Hydro, of course. And... Um, then we will be able to burn the Pangoro on the following turn. I'm assuming it's choiced in some way because of the fact that he switched it out. Um, it's curi curious to know, though. I'm definitely going to burn this thing over paralyzing it because I'm not going to play around with those uh, paralysis chances. Uh, they're more in his favor than they are in mine. 
Uh, we see that he is faster than us, which means he's heavily speed invested. Probably Jolly. Either that or he's Scarfed. So I'm gonna Volt Switch on this turn as he goes for the Drain Punch. Uh, it goes up back to near full health, but we do get off a huge Volt Switch. This thing's uh, special defense is not that great. As uh, he does take the burn damage, and here I'm gonna Secret Sword. It's my most accurate move outside of Scald. He does gain back some health as long as we don't get full parried. We win the game, and there we go. Able to knock out the Pangoro, and uh, I'm really low on the ladder compared to what I, where I was. That's why I'm probably getting these games, but uh, I'm gonna search for one last one here, guys. I'm gonna try to keep this under 30 minutes and get a really quick battle in with this team. Uh, I'm really not doing it justice because this is an amazing team, and in the right hands like Blunders, it's, um, it's fantastic, but... We get uh, Sand, um, Sand plus Mega Gardevoir, which is really scary. Jirachi is, uh, is going to be our savior this game. It's going to take on the Venusaur and the, uh, the Mega Gardevoir pretty well. If it doesn't have Focus Blast, which it should. Uh, or Will-O-Wisp, actually. Will-O-Wisp would be a very good option on that Mega Gardevoir. Uh, Keldeo is pretty much checked by Mega Venusaur, which is a good thing for him. Uh, I think my play 100% of the time is always to lead with Medicham, no matter what. He does lead with the Ladia, so I am going to fake this thing out, and then we will switch out on whatever move it wants to go for. I'll probably just go straight into Rachi. If he HP fires, he HP fires. It's not a two-hit KO. Uh, that fake out does a lot, as you can see, and now we can go straight into Rachi. Hopefully get up rocks, uh, which would be very nice, and I'm assuming his immediate switch in is probably going to be... Um, he does HP fire, so good play. Um, I am just going to get up rocks, though, I think. Uh, actually, he's probably going to HP fire again, right? And uh, that means he speed ties with our Latios, which is really nice. Uh, I could just U-turn here. I'm probably just going to U-turn. Uh, he does send in his Skarmory. We'll see if it's Rocky Helmet. It's good intel. Uh, it's not. All right. Awesome. And now we can go into Rotom and pretty much Volt Switch for free because that is not a Mold Breaker uh, Excadrill back there. So I am just going to Volt Switch on this turn. Uh, if he goes into Venusaur, that's fine. Uh, we bring in our Latios. Uh, we got to watch out for uh, Scarf Titar in the back, potentially. Uh, he does go into Venusaur. I'm going to go into Latios, and what I'm going to do here is actually double, probably into Keldeo. Um, maybe Mega Medicham. I don't see him going for Sludge Bomb, though. So I think the double is, in fact, uh, into Keldeo. We'll see here. He should go into Titar. As he does, cool. So that means uh, we get a potential free burn on something, which is very nice. I'm just going to fire off a of Scald right here. He cannot stay in. Uh, he has to keep his, uh, his potential sand alive as long as he can. He does have Venusaur as an immediate switch to this. We do get a chance to burn it, though, and we do. Awesome. So he's going to be taking burn plus sand every turn for the next three turns or so. Uh, and I can switch safely into my Jirachi and at this point just get up rocks. Uh, he goes for the Leech Seed on me. That is fine. I will just throw up my Stealth Rocks right here. I could try to uh, flinch this thing down with Iron Head. I don't really feel like playing that game. I'd much rather get up my rocks right now, weakening the T-Tar, uh, putting it in range of pretty much um, uh, Rotom's Hydro Pump after a few switch-ins, uh, as well as um, Landorus's, uh, Landorus's Earthquake, which is what I really want to do. Um, I'm just going to go for the Iron Head here, because he's very adamant on staying in. I guess he thought I was Scarfed for some reason, even though he saw Leftovers, but um, I could just go for the Iron Head here. His, uh, his Skarmory is not Rocky Helmet, so I don't lose much by going for this. It takes 22%. Does not get flinched, actually, surprisingly. Uh, but after the burn damage, uh, we'll see how much he's sitting at. Sitting at 20%. So I'm actually going to U-turn here because we are faster. And should he choose to save this, uh, he co goes into Skarmory. Awesome. And once again, we get off a free Volt Switch with Rotom. For nothing. For absolutely free. Uh, and this Skarmory is going to take a lot of damage from this. So... If he wants to go into Venusaur, he pretty much sacks it to rocks plus burn. Uh, it'll be it'll come back in at 4% after, which it cannot. Um, Skarmory uh, takes a lot of damage from that, and I think my play is into Keldeo at this point, because his Latios is so low. Um, it's at 65, so I don't think it takes two Scalds. But I don't outspeed it, so there's that. Uh, I'm actually going to go into my own Latios here, in case he wants the Brave Bird or do something funky. He chooses to go for Roost. Uh, at this point, I doubled last time, so I'm actually going to stay in this time and just go for the HP Fire. Should he go back into Titar, that's fine. Uh, but he knows that he's giving me a free switch into uh, into Metacham, so he's got to watch out for that. Uh, does choose to go into Gardevoir, actually, this time, so that's very good. going to get a little bit of chip damage off on this. And uh, Jirachi is severely weakened, so I don't know if it can actually switch into two Hyper Voices. I may need to sack something right here. 
And if anything, my sack is gonna be this Latios because it only deals with the Venusaur, which comes in at like 16% anyway, so pretty much anything can knock it out at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Psy Shock. Uh, he actually is Scarfed Gardevoir, so that's really good to know. Obviously, it's not a Mega Gardevoir. I don't know why I said Hyper Voice, but uh, I guess it was Moon Blast. Um, I have no switches to a Shadow Ball anyway. So I'm just going to sack this as he goes for a Shadow Ball. So pretty much his T-Tar's role was taken up by his uh, his Gardevoir, which is great for us. We also know that we outspeed a Scarf Gardevoir with Landorus, and we can pretty much just U-turn for free right here. And again, he does not have a Volt Switch switch in when he goes into Skarmory, so uh, we pretty much get a kill at this point. If he goes into um, his Excadrill, which is technically his only switch into a Volt Switch, then we get off, um, we get off a... Um, a Hydro Pump on it on the following turn. So I'm actually going to Wisp here uh, as he goes into his Venusaur, so good play. I doubt this thing is actually faster than me, but just in case it is, uh, I'm going to play it safe and go into Jirachi on this turn. He may want a Synthesis, uh, as he does. That's fine, though, because he still takes the burn. And I am just going to U-turn once again on the Skarmory. And uh, then I have to decide what I want to do afterwards. He is going to stay in here. I'm assuming just the Leech Seed. Uh, I'm going to go into Metacham. Threaten this thing out immediately. He, just, he goes for Synthesis, so that's okay. Uh, I can just go for Fake Out again. I did let his Venusaur get back up a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. His Skarmory is going to take this Fake Out. And it should not be able to take the High Jump Kick from this range. Uh, as it does not, it goes straight down. Awesome. So we got rid of the biggest threat uh, defensively for us. Uh, his Gardevoir is extremely low. It does get a kill right here when it comes in. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Latios, which is awesome, as I do have uh, an answer to that, being Jirachi. Uh, he should not go for an HP Fire right here, because if I stay in with Medicham, I knock out his only answer to Medicham at this point, and uh, that would be very bad for him. And uh, Jirachi's gonna come in, he's gonna Draco, he's gonna lower his own special attack, and now I know that HP Fire kills me, uh, I think. Hold on, let me just check how much it did earlier. Uh, HP Fire did 40%, so we can actually live it. And uh, I can go for the U-turn right here as he decides to go into Excadrill, which is very nice uh, because now we get a kill with Kelio. And his Latios is sitting at 53%, so it can definitely take a Scald, uh, but if it gets burned, it dies. Uh, and Venusaur cannot take two Scalds with the burn. Take 17%. Actually, it can take two Scalds. <laughs> I lied. Um, Jirachi is always my play, I think, on this thing. Always, always, always. He does not have the Skarmory anymore either to switch into an Iron Head, so pretty much his Excadrill always has to come in, which I mean, our our Lando is at like full health. Yeah, it's at full health. Uh, he goes for the Leech Seed, that's fine. Uh, he's still going to be around 24%, 25, uh, and I am actually going to Iron Head on this turn. If he switches out into the Drill, that's a fine play. I don't see him switching out of his Venusaur, and we are able to get the Flinch, so that means this Venusaur is finally gone. We're able to U-turn. If he has uh, Defog on the... Uh, on the Latios, kudos to him. I expect him to switch. I expect him to stay in with his Venusaur at this point, so uh, I don't see. Okay, well, he decides to go into extra draw instead. Uh, now he really has no switch ins to, uh, to Keldeo, so just gonna go into that. Uh, just gonna fire off a Scald once again. Secret Sword might have been a better play, but he sacks off his, uh, his Venusaur, which is nice. His Latios can now come in. I don't know if it has Roost. Uh, if it does, I just get to knock off anyway with. Um, with Landorus, uh, so Jirachi is always my play. Uh, we are down to 4v4, he does go for the Psy Shock, and of course he is not Life Orb, uh, so we will be able to go into our Landorus, and just click U-turn here, no matter what. If his Excadrill comes in, I follow that up by going into uh, Rotom, and probably clicking just, uh, just clicking um, Hydro Pump. He actually chooses to go into T-Tar, which is awesome because now I get to go into Kelio and get yet another kill. We'll go for Secret Sword here. It will knock out the Latios at the range it's at. Uh, it will also knock out the Gardevoir, even though it's quad resisted. It comes in at 2%, and the Excadrill is going down as well. This T-Tar is more than likely Scarfed. It is not actually. Okay, so we're able to take out the T-Tar. Awesome. And um, I expect his Latios to come back in. Yep, as it does. Uh, now, I do not have a switch in for this thing's Psy Shock. Uh, or Draco for that matter, but his team is so weakened uh, I still want to keep Keldeo because it deals with Excadrill Actually, you know what if if I let this die 
he actually goes for a Draco Meteor and misses, um, which is unfortunate for him, but basically if I let that die, all I needed to do was then go into my Landorus, you turn out, if he goes into Excadrill, I go into Rotom, and I click Volt Switch indefinitely, uh, and then I just spam Earthquake, basically, and his entire team goes down. He's gonna go into his Excadrill, I'm going to preserve Differential, and go into Rotom, and then just proceed to Hydro Pump and knock this thing out. He goes for a Rapid Spin, so he's gonna keep his uh, Gardevoir slightly alive, not enough to, to beat us though. I'm just gonna go for the Hydro Pump, it will knock out the Excadrill, as well as the Gardevoir at the range it's at. He goes for Rock Slide Flinches, good play. Uh, that's probably his best play. Iron Head actually has a higher chance to flinch, so it uh, doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to go for another Hydro. We actually missed our last one. Let's see if he can get the flinch here. He does not. Hydro Pump is able to take him out, and that is going to be a good game. I'm actually going to finish this off with uh, Blunder's favorite Pokemon, uh, Mega Metacham. We are going to let him knock us out, and we're going to go for Thunder Wave. Uh, just in case he doesn't knock us out, he should though. Yep, there it is, and we are going to finish this off with Mega Metacham, go for a fake out and say GG to our opponent. And that is going to be it for the live, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe. As always, the links to both my Twitter and my Facebook are in the description down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Catch you guys later.